booth is basically going to go on that left side right here. So before this video gets started, guys, I do want to mention that the Huracan giveaway is coming to an end here really soon. So what we want to do is something special for the next 300 orders starting right now. What we're going to do is throw in our custom limited edition Goon Squad wallet. This sucker is super sick. Carbon fiber, got everything you need for an epic wallet. So guys, don't miss out on this opportunity of a lifetime. Be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. Check out all the official rules, copy some epic gear, and you might be the lucky winner of this twin turbo huracan plus twenty thousand dollars cash so today is a super exciting day guys because today we are gonna prepare for our paint booth which is just crazy just i can't believe that we have a paint booth coming in and it's gonna be in here next week so we don't have much time man it's right around the corner Dude, man. right around the corner Ooh. things are about to change it's super exciting but also we got to accomplish a lot of different yeah. things dude. and this is part of the rebuilding the aventador because we're gonna possibly paint this thing inside that paint booth which is just insane and it's just gonna help with all of our projects in the future i mean we can go ahead and paint the urus and a bunch of other stuff but we got to go ahead and start preparing for it. so i got my tape measure we're gonna go out there in our little area that we have uh, for a future building site we're gonna measure everything out throw some markings on the floor we got to bring in gravel we even got to order like a carport that way it's covered up it's not out in the rain and stuff like that so we got a lot of stuff in our hands dude, right now dude. i say right now dude we don't waste any more time Let's hop out there, man. Dude, let's hop out there and uh, see if we can get this thing ready. So check this out guys so what we have marked with some blue paint is a 45 foot by 45 foot slab that we plan on pouring right there and the paint booth is basically going to go on that left side right here and right here and right here is going to be a bunch of just open space where we can store some stuff maybe like two boats that we got right there or maybe some cars or we could even prepare the cars before they go into paint right there so that right there is going to be a nice and productive space right there we even went to look at a carport of 45 by 45 and that sucker was like twenty thousand dollars which is kind of high but that's massive dude that's Honestly, massive dude. 45 by 45 and just a little roof of a carport for 20 grand i guess the metal prices are just high now dude they are man. going up but you know what we are still debating if we want to go that route because that 20,000 price tag is for it fully installed and it's going to take two to four weeks or we can get it for a couple thousand dollars cheaper and get it within 10 days if we want to install it ourselves so we're not too focused on getting that carport just yet because we were thinking about it we need to go ahead and do the gravel work right there do the dirt work and then pour that concrete slab then fully assemble that paint booth and the carport honestly can go around it right yeah we can build it around it paint booth is pretty much waterproof yeah. we can cover it up with a tarp if we have to yes. but we're gonna have a lot more room to like store stuff like you said or do pre-prep you know paint you exactly know, all that stuff. yes sir dude that's gonna be perfect right there so you know what everything is lined up guys tomorrow morning the gravel will arrive so we'll do some skid steer work right there and the concrete guys are already lined up so all we gotta do is just wait for that paint booth to arrive but as of right now we're just gonna hop inside and do some stuff on that aventador
we finally got our gravel spread out completely right here and also we did cut away some of that dirt that was close to that asphalt and we spread it up against that fence line right there where we needed it so it worked out perfect one load of gravel right here turned out to be the perfect amount as well and look at that i think we're ready for the concrete guys to come out here do their form and if we do need to adjust it a little bit i think we could bring in more gravel after the form but hey look at this you see a little uh gravel pad right now but in the future it's going to be a massive building right here dude, dude. just a big paint insane. booth just area it's going to be epic i mean this is just crazy this is how it starts though man. that's how you start right there but you know what that's all that we can do for right now we got everything scheduled in and it'll be um poured before you know it but as of right now we're going to go hop inside do some more ventador stuff because we already taped up all the aftermarket parts ready for some more primer let's hop in there and do some more So check this out guys. So we finally got all the aftermarket parts primed in with a couple layers of some nice thick primer right here. And we went ahead and threw some guide coat on everything. And this stuff just went super smooth. Everything laid down really nicely and it turned out great. All we gotta do is basically just wet sand this stuff and just throw it into our paint booth over there and spray it in, honestly. Dude, where's it at, man? <laughs> Hopefully, man, here really soon. I mean, it's right around the corner. So we'll probably get it in, but we gotta wait for that pad before we can set it up. And I don't know, about you but we might have to bring in a few help to suck that paint booth up dude. i know dude because we were actually planning on ordering a paint booth a while ago and for the invoice you know there was the invoice amount for just the paint booth itself and then there was an amount for the installation which, which was just as much as the paint it's booth. Like 50 grand to install a paint booth that i don't even know what uh, that's insane man i should become a paint booth installer if they're that much dude i'm telling you that's it's crazy insane. but you know what apparently you know it comes with the manual it comes yep. with the handbook it's going to tell us how to do it so it's probably going to come with like 20,000 bolts and nuts that we're gonna have to Dude. put together. We'll figure that out later, but it's gonna be here really soon. This stuff is gonna be painted, but we're gonna let this stuff dry for a couple hours before we even touch it. And we're gonna hop onto the Aventador because we still got that roof to prime in and that one carbon fiber fender. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's just go ahead and hop on that Aventador and finish up all the priming.
So that is pretty much it for all of the priming work, guys. Check that out. We ended up tarping off this whole entire car just to get this roof primed and a few other little sections, but oh my goodness, once this right here is sanded down and painted, it's gonna look smooth and original. Same with this side over here, the door. We had a little dinger right there. We had to prime and fix and all that good stuff. Same right there, a little dinger there. And we even primed the front fender that was fully carbon fiber. And look at this, this sucker right here had a little bit of a, like a crack, a hairline crack in this section right here. Kind of weird, but you know what? If we wouldn't have fixed that, it would have definitely shown up once we painted it. So fix that with some fiberglass and some resin in that area right there through some primer and this sucker is gonna look original with some slick white paint on it right there, dude. Oh yeah, I mean, everything's pretty much done. Now all we got is just a ton of wet sanding. Yes, and we're gonna do the old fashioned way like we always do and that's hand sanding because you know, with the DA and some air machines, you know, you can always put like some swirls in it. And honestly, I don't think the adhesion is the best when you do that. I think it's best when you do it by hand, even though it takes a lot longer, but we want that perfection. So that's gonna be the longest process is wet sanding all this stuff, but you know what? We're getting one step closer to get into our paint booth. And honestly, we might even be painting in this video, dude. What do you think, dude? That'd no? be crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy because we are trying to do like a little bit of a different type of video. We're taking a bunch of days and putting them together and trying to accomplish a lot in one video. Just to switch things up, guys, just a little bit. So we'll see where this takes us. And right now, I believe the concrete guy is actually about to pull up and he's gonna measure everything up. And I think they're gonna get ready to form some stuff. And then tomorrow in the morning, they're gonna pour that pad, hopefully if the weather allows. Alrighty guys, so check this out. It is actually the next day here. We came out like 6.30 in the morning along with the concrete guys. And then we're gonna try to pour all this today, but we ran into a few little complications. But look at this, first off, we got the form formed right here and we got the gravel in there. We got the stakes out, pretty much. Everything is ready for that concrete, except for one thing, we're not ready for it because if we were to pour this right here, this would cost an extra $6,000 
than necessary you know what i mean because look how thick this slab would be so what we're going to do is bring in a bunch of gravel basically to fill all this in right here because that right there we kind of just didn't calculate for that if we would have had one of those uh like grading tools or those transit tools we would have been able to tell but we just didn't have no way to tell so we just went off the old eyeball method and that right there is just way too much concrete in this eyeballs are a right little there, crooked <laughs> that time <laughs> yeah that's true right there so they're already taking off because i think the rain is coming in so we just don't have enough time to bring in this gravel do everything and then them stay out here and pour the rest so what we're gonna do i guess is uh gravel is gonna come in we're gonna grade it and they're gonna come in the next day yeah to pour if the weather allows because the weather has been really weird lately so. yeah so if it doesn't if it still rains they'll probably just find a day where it's sunny and stuff like yep. that but we just need probably like two dump trucks of gravel or one yep. and we'll see where we go from there exactly It is time. The whole body of this car is basically already wet sanded. Yeah. All we got left is just what those parts right there. Those pretty much? parts right there, just that should be simple. I mean, it's all primered stuff right here. This is the main stuff right here. But it's about time to, you know, pause the sanding like we like to do every once in a while <laughs> and do some epicness. Yes, dude. sir, dude. That was a lot of sanding. I know we want to go ahead. We could technically knock all that stuff out, and we really want to. But you know what? We want to give you guys something a little bit super super exciting something super special for this car as well yes sir <laughs> and it requires us unbox whoa 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 not that <laughs> this right here is a rift exhaust for our lamborghini aventador sv and this right here is actually a one of one fully custom made just to fit our car because this is an sv and we are doing an svj kit so the flanges are a little bit different between the two cars so rift literally custom made this for us right here and this is about to sound absolutely insane because we're gonna get rid of like that stainless steel i don't know what that's made out of but it sounds like absolute garbage dude, dude i think it's made out of half plastic half metal or something <laughs> dude, like who that knows, dude that sucker just does not sound right and i can't wait to hear this right here full titanium exhaust even the original rift exhaust that had the holes completely just broken open sounded really good but this right here is going to be nice and clean it's going to shoot out two pipes dude, dude and shoot flames out man <laughs> this is going to be absolutely insane so i say we go ahead crack this sucker open Ooh, that's some high quality tape look at that dude medical grade right there and you're gonna have to put this on your neck when you hear it <laughs> <laughs> put it on your eardrums dude Looks like a, a blue zebra or something, dude. That is wild. Golly. Now that is what you call a rift exhaust right there, dude. That's <laughs> sick, dude. This is insane. What the heck? I don't even, I'm speechless. Speechless. Plugs, bro, this comes with earplugs so you don't blow your eardrums out <laughs> when you're driving the car. <laughs> Which exhaust sounds better?
think these are the cats right here and uh, these are the old ones that came off and we got the brand new ones right here from Rift. We are already like just marking it up, looking at it and right off the bat, these are aftermarket. They yes, look sir. aftermarket. They're way bigger than the Rift ones right here, which this probably gives the Aventador a little like louder tone. Not, not like a louder, like a deeper. deeper. Yeah, a little bit deeper, a little bit raspier. That's what I've noticed with this. But with this, a little bit smaller. You guys know how, you know, musical instruments work. The smaller, the tighter it gets, the higher the pitch. So I believe these will make a way higher pitch, kind of like a street bike type exactly. pitch. Exactly. You, know you I mean? got to think of it like a whistle. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like the smaller the hole, basically the louder the whistle or the yeah. higher the pitch. A hundred percent. So that's exactly how it is putting these exhausts together. That's why somebody probably was just messing around. They had these uh, cats on there along with the Rift exhaust, which is right there. And it like gave it a different tone. But now we got some brand new ones. These even look a lot nicer. They already come protected with like a heat shield instead of this nasty stuff that's already falling apart, which is pretty good. But for this new Rift exhaust whole entire system, this is going to be the best. Dude, right this here. is much cleaner right here. That stuff just comes apart once you wash it and all that stuff. But this right here is going to stay intact for good, dude. We're about to throw it on, We're man. We're about to throw it on. It was a little tricky getting in there, like underneath. We had to throw the car on the lift right here, but we managed to pull them out and stuff like that. And this stuff right here is all clogged with oil and grease and all sorts of stuff, and it just keeps smoking. So good thing we're swapping it to these. And dude, the heck, Boom. Like, the, what do you even call <laughs> these? Those, are tips. Right? These are much Massive. larger than the original ones or the the other ones that we had. Dude, that is gonna look dude, insane. That's gonna look dude. so good coming out of that bumper right there. There, and with the flame shooting out of it, it's gonna look absolutely just unbelievable. Dude, right there. and look at this exhaust once again, a fresh rift exhaust. That right there is of course probably a couple thousand miles. Still looks super good, but oh my goodness, this is just gonna sound insane. And I love how they come together as one right here. So this is definitely, I think, uh, a new and improved model right here, dude. Yeah, that right there, I believe, is going to produce a way better flame right here because they come into one, and the sound is going to be, I believe, way more different from that one right there. I mean, that one, I think, comes together in the middle a little right bit. Right there? But, this but it goes right here, it goes to four. This is just gonna go to two, dude. It, well, it actually goes into one and just splits off into two. Right. It's just gonna be insane. The flames are gonna be a lot bigger, I believe, because there's less pipe to travel through. That has a bunch of loops. It's just gonna look super good, and I believe it's gonna sound better than any exhaust. guys so the exhaust is finally installed and this just looks absolutely incredible that blue color right there which it'll probably change once we start throwing fireballs out of this thing but before we start this thing and listen to this beautiful sound rift uh kindly so happily provides you with a set of earplugs look at this you can put that on your keychain right there i'm gonna go ahead and throw these suckers in because i just i just know if exhaust comes with these you're gonna need these for sure dude that's just crazy and they throw in you know a set for your passenger because you never know long trips you might need these dude, dude that is so cool right there. they literally included a little earplug container plus the actual earplugs dude hey this is just insane right here well you know something serious is gonna happen when they give you this that's right dude I, it's time to fire it up literally this took us a long time to do because we have to go all the way underneath there and honestly we lost one nut for one of the banjo clamps that took us literally hours to find it was dude. the hardest nut to find ever like it was no other bolt would ever fit up there so we had that pops actually had to run to the he ran to the house actually a few times yep. and finally found one threw it on on here everything looks good it's all wired up buttoned up it's ready to shoot some flames dude man. it's ready to shoot some flames and surprisingly that was a 10 millimeter nut wasn't yeah, 10 it not a 10 millimeter socket this 10 time 10 millimeter nut that was super difficult to find dude but let's fire it up man. let's fire this sucker up dude i'm excited we've been waiting on this exhaust for quite some time. You know what? I'm taking these out. Dude, you, you gotta listen to it, man. You don't need none of that right I'm gonna now. have to stand back a little bit so it doesn't mess up the microphone. Fire it up. Oh, 
Oh no, not a dead battery. The battery died, man. I think I got a booster box over here. It's playing games with us. But dude, that dude, that's just insane. That's like a way higher pitch right off the bat. Dude. Higher pitch. I bet the the fireballs are way more sharper on this thing. I'm telling you, that is just insane. Dude, it literally was like a <laughs> sonic boom out here, dude. That is the most insane sounding car we've got, dude. I cannot wait to finish this sucker that, up, man. That's why we had to do this. We had to pause on the sanding a little bit to throw this beautiful thing up just to motivate us a little bit more. And now I just want to just paint it. Dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not only is it going to motivate us to finish it, but also we do want to get this out of the way because while everything's exposed right here, it's good to go ahead and get that knocked yeah. out. That way we can work around it. Yeah, you know a lot what I mean? easier to go ahead and do the exhaust because it was tough getting in there just how it is right now. I can only imagine when the car was like painted and stuff, we would have scratched like the quarter panels. Oh, so no. good thing we knocked that out. Now we can just paint it, slap that bumper on with those rift tips on there, dude. It's going to look insane, dude. But guys, that is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video. We're super happy with the amount of progress that we got accomplished on this thing right here and also outside. We're going to be painting that sucker in the brand new paint booth. That's our goal. We don't want to go to any other paint booth because you know we want a fresh brand new paint booth to get the perfect paint job on this Aventador right here and before you know it we're going to be ripping this sucker around around town through some tunnels giving you guys the ultimate shots and just a test rip so be sure to drop all your comments and thoughts down below thank you guys so much for all the love and support we'll catch you guys next time peace